Good morning to you all. We uh, had our religious survey uh, part one yesterday and had a real good time. And you can see some of that on my Facebook pictures. And I even was able to do a Facebook Live of some of the beautiful artwork in the Greek Orthodox Church. Uh, we were allowed to go into the place they were renovating after that fire of four years ago. Beautiful artisans. I really recommend you take a look at that and see what they've been doing. And so they're creating. And there's a beautiful mosaic. And there's wonderful creativity coming from these artists from Italy over there. And that brings me to the art room as I start this morning. And you take a look and you see all of these implements for people to use their creativity and do artwork. And then we will all look at that finished creation and say, man, you have a creative mind. I mean, you really do a great job. And I think about that when we're in our third, third study here on heaven. And think of God's imagination. Think of God's creativity. Isn't that amazing? Now, the key passage I'm going to take you to today is Revelation chapter 21. Revelation chapter 21, we talked about uh, yesterday, I believe it was. And Revelation 21 once says, look, I found a new heaven and a new earth. As I look around, says John the seer. And he says in that, kine, this is a new, this has uh, never been conceived before. This is a new design. It's not just new in chronology, not just new by the hour or by the day or by the month. This is new. It's never been conceived before. It's a wonderful, wonderful word. Now, in that, there is one thing that is, uh, that, you know, it's amazing, is these things are so beyond human imagination that it's really what is not there? That's the best way we could understand it here on earth is, well, can you, can you par compare it with some things on earth? And so as John puts it down in chapter 21 of Revelation, verse 4, he says, well, there's no more this, there's no more that. Okay, we can understand. What are some things that we will not see or experience in heaven? And one of the four things that we see in verse 4 is there be no more crying. As a matter of fact, it says, God will wipe away every tear. God will wipe away every tear. There'll be no more crying in heaven. That's what it says. I want you to understand how powerful that is because the human existence is really based on sorrow a lot of times, right? We cry for poverty. We cry out of pain. We cry out of loss. We cry in sympathy for loved ones that might be enduring something. We cry for disappointment. We cry over things that would trip us up as we just try to make do in this human existence. That won't be there in heaven. It'll be over with. Now, some people say, well, God's going to wipe away the tears because of the sorrow we have from earth. But it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. You were, we're going to be crying on the way up into our eternal existence of joy. It's not consistent with the scripture. Well, we'll cry because we're embarrassed because all of our works of wood, hay, and stubble will be put down and burned away, and then just there will just be the, the treasures of the jewels. No, well, the Bible says that the Lord will give praise to men, 1 Corinthians chapter 4. So it doesn't seem like that's consistent either. It's, you know, well, we're, we're sorry for our sins, but those were taken to the cross, and those were over with. No, I want you to understand. Just follow for what the scripture says. There will be no more crying. There will be no, we will not have the capacity to cry. The problem, the, 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 the joy that we have here is really that we see so many things that are so wondrous, and we're going to experience so many frontiers of seeing new things that God has created. Well, then... <laughs> We're not going to have this capacity to cry. That is hard for me to you know, understand because there's so many different things. You and I face disappointments and, and pains and losses here on earth. And we've both had a pretty good life, but this is just the way that we are. I want you to understand one thing. Just keep it one thing today and study that. There will be a time in heaven when we will, we will face eternity and there'll be no more crying anymore. And I want you to think about how many times you have cried in this past week or past month and realize the reasons for those will be eliminated in heaven. 
Just think about that. Or there'll be a big change. Second Peter chapter 3 says, oh, this whole existence is un going to undergo a huge renovation. And we'll talk in detail about that. But for today, just to take up. You know, it was just interesting yesterday when we went to different places, we asked them about the afterlife. What do you believe about the afterlife? And there was a lot of generic answers or puzzlement. I'm thinking this is one of the things that keeps, it, it, it puts the Christians as different from a lot of faiths, a lot of belief systems, is that we see a definite future, a joyous afterlife. And one of the things is there's no more crying. Thanks so much for listening and thanks so much for watching. And uh, Lord willing, I'll talk with you tomorrow. If you would, take a look at some of the other things on my Facebook Live or my Facebook pictures on where we've been on a religious survey so far and look throughout the day. I'll see if I can't film some more as we go throughout the day. And take care. God bless you. I really, really appreciate uh, you following. And, and if this can help anybody, please share it with them. We have a lot of people that are hurting and they'd like to know that as Christians, we can go to uh, uh, our destination of heaven when God welcomes us in and he's going to take one thing. Uh, you can't take it across the threshold. You can't take crying. There will be no more tears. This is a place of joy. Think about that today. Wonderful. God bless you. And Lord willing, I'll talk with you later on this morning as we're at different places as we're going around town. Thank you. Bye now.